The Bad Batch Season 3 trailer was released yesterday and Star Wars fans have been losing their minds because they've seen a ghost. Asajj Ventress was in this trailer, looking as badass as ever with a new yellow lightsaber. However, at the time that this season of The Bad Batch takes place in the Star Wars timeline, Asajj Ventress is dead. Or is she? In a canon novel, Dark Disciple, we see Asajj Ventress, who is now turned to the light side, fall in love with Quinlan Voss. Now, it's also possible that we could be seeing Quinlan make an appearance in The Bad Batch Season 3 as well, after his name was mentioned in The Kenobi Show over two years ago. And his last live action appearance was in 1999, so come on, let's give this guy some screen time. But this book tells us that in a fight against her former master, Count Dooku, Asajj jumps in front of Dooku's force lightning to save Quinlan's life. Sacrificing her own, Quinlan Voss took her body back to her home world of Dothamir, put her in a pool of water, and her body got dragged down by these green tentacles that came out of the water, giving her a cannon death. Or so we thought. According to the databanks on StarWars.com, the official databank of all things canon in Star Wars, it says this about the ending of Asajj Ventress's story. Ultimately, Ventress sacrifices herself to save Quinlan's life, taking the brunt of Dooku's Force Lightning during their confrontation. But that wasn't the end of Asajj's story. Now, this is pretty strange. One sentence says that Asajj sacrifices herself to save Quinlan Voss's life and another sentence says that her story's not over yet so is this another case of somehow palpatine returned or no one's ever really gone is this really retconning the story of Asajj Ventress? Or can this be explained without a retcon? Retcons have been seen all throughout the history of Star Wars. Let's be honest, when A New Hope was created, there was no idea for Darth Vader being Luke's dad. And there definitely wasn't the idea for Luke and Leia being siblings, because this would have been a lot more weird. So those are technically retcons. However, nowadays, a retcon is kind of like Luke Skywalker having Yoda's lightsaber in the Book of Boba Fett, offering it up to Grogu, even though in a canon comic, we saw Yoda's lightsaber be destroyed on Coruscant shortly after Order 66. Very minor, small little details that are being retconned here and there. But Asajj Ventress's canon death would be a big one. However, I think there are two ways to go about this, to keep Asajj Ventress alive after the events of the Dark Disciple novel without a retcon. The first one, and I think probably the less likely one, is Mount Tantus. It's possible that this is a cloned version of Asajj Ventress. Mount Tantus in Legends, and now probably going to be in canon as well, is a cloning facility for Palpatine. And we know how much Palpatine loves to clone. But is it possible that one of the first successful Force-sensitive clones is a clone of Asajj Ventress? Huge shout out to Zach for coming up with this theory on this channel. But again, honestly, I think this is the less likely of the two options. The second option is... Asajj never died. Okay, okay, now hear me out. Again, on StarWars.com, along with the trailer for The Bad Batch, they wrote up an article announcing The Bad Batch's release. And one of the executive producers, Brad, said this. We don't want to spoil anything, but we want fans to know that any new storytelling with Ventress will align with the events of Star Wars Dark Disciple. This most likely means that there will be no retcon. Lucasfilm takes pride in their ability to tell canon stories in novels, comics, and video games, and they don't want to go around retconning all of those stories for the fans that love them so much. Especially now that their newest era that they are working on in the Star Wars timeline is the High Republic, and right now it's exclusively in novel form. Of course, other than Young Jedi Adventures. But they don't want to make their novels, comics, and video games just pointless to the Star Wars fans. And they definitely don't want to throw away this very important story to Asajj Ventress. Her turning to the light side, falling in love with Quinlan, and then of course stepping in front of that lightning to save her love from her former master. So yes, Asajj Ventress got electrocuted, but no, she did not die. We've seen many people survive Force Lightning in Star Wars. The most notable one probably is in Return of the Jedi, and it's Luke Skywalker. He gets that Force Lightning for a long time from Palpatine, and he pretty much comes out unharmed. So it's definitely possible that Asajj Ventress survived the confrontation between her and Quinlan and her former master Count Dooku. 
Also, like I said, Quinlan does bring Asajj's body to Dothamir and put her in that pool. We are led to believe that this is a type of funeral for Asajj Ventress, but what if this is Quinlan Voss bringing her back to her home world, a world of magic and force power, to help save her life and bring her back to life? The Night Sisters are known for their magic and their resurrecting abilities, so it definitely is possible that Asajj Ventress could have survived. But with that being said, Ventress is not in anything else. She's not in Kenobi, she's not in Rebels, she's not in the original trilogy, she's not in the Mandoverse. So it is highly likely that we could see the death of Asajj in The Bad Batch Season 3. So as soon as we finally get some more Asajj, this might be the real end of Asajj. So do you think Ventress survived the battle between Dooku? Or do you think that she's a clone created on Mount Tantus? Or are you thinking something else that I didn't mention? Tell me in the comments below. All I know is that Bad Batch trailer was incredible. And you don't want to miss out on any of those key details that you may have missed if you blinked a couple times in that Bad Batch trailer. So go check out this breakdown video that I did going through the entire trailer because there was a lot of cool things that you might have missed.